So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hello there, this is Robin Norgren, and I'm your host for Montessori Creativity and the Meaning of Life. So, today is a pretty special day, I guess, in this little world that I'm creating. A legacy, if you will, of the mark I'm making in the world. Today, July 23rd, 2020, I get the notification that says this little podcast is now available on Apple products. Come on. (laughs) A little girl with a dream. A grown woman with a dream. A lot of little steps and missteps throughout it all. Allow me to give you a, a walking meditation. Please bear with me as suddenly we have tons of traffic going on here. (laughs) Ten years ago, I started this journey, Josie's Art School. It was right after my dad had passed away. And my firstborn son had moved away, married, was in the military. And my daughter was four years old, Josie. And I saw a movie called Saving Mr. Banks. It's the story about how Mary Poppins was made. Mary Poppins just happens to be one of my favorite musicals. But it it talked about um, the writer's connection with her father. And though I didn't really have that kind of connection that I can remember, though I did really love my dad. But after two tours of Vietnam, he did not come home. Um, He was rightfully so, just not um, the same person that we knew. And so, those latter years were not as great as the earlier years. And I actually didn't see him before he died. My mother and father separated. And for 30 years, not a, not a peep or a word. Which sounds silly now in the world of Facebook and Twitter and all these ways to connect. Um, but those just came into existence over the last decade and a half and believe it or not there's some people who would rather not be connected with (laughs) I know that's hard to believe so he passed away and you're just left with with nothing and so that that, um, movie inspired me to start something make something beautiful out of nothing. And during that time, you know, I had been a part of school systems because I had other children and I just saw that a lot of the artistic pieces of um, the school system, creativity, music, those sorts of things were kind of being phased out and were only add-on programs that parents would have to pay for if they really wanted them. Well, if you've not lived in an environment where that has been promoted as something vital for children, then you don't necessarily see it as something as a a necessary thing to pay for. And so I had just been exploring for myself mixed media art. 
and as a as a Jesus follower, a believer, I would use that as a way to heal and hear from God and pray and I wanted so badly to share that with uh with adults but again fall, falling into roadblocks because again in the United States it seems if it's not something that you can hang on your wall or has some sort of practical value to it um, it's not something you spend your time or your money or your energy on and so after one particular class where I was just not reaching <laughs> the group I had really started thinking about what it would look like to take that type of program to children and that is how Josie's Art School began and I've been very blessed to be able to teach it in Arizona and Virginia and online and um, it even started me writing art lessons and curriculum and so I say all this to say that I could go down this long list of things that were just one foot in front of the other that I did and I'll be honest with you I had a lot of people around me who were very creative people but they were what you would consider really creative like <laughs> took classes and had degrees in it so I really did keep this little thing to myself because I don't think anyone really understood what a step of faith it was for me to even try when there were so many creative people around me that really weren't being very creative but were quote more talented than me and so I kept putting one foot in front of the other with this that led me to Montessori and seeing that that piece of the Montessori program could be bolstered a little more with an art program started to write a curriculum housed within a Montessori classroom and then began to take lessons on drum circles and playing Native American flutes and dabbling in ukulele and so it's just all these little things where I really, really wanted someone else to do them with me. But it just never came together. And I just couldn't wait. My heart couldn't wait. Because at the same time as I was building, I was healing. And I was growing and I was changing. And when people say, wow, how are you so centered? And how are, how are you so grounded? And, and I say, I don't know. <laughs> But really, I do know it was all of that that maybe looked like work, but really was play, play. So on the same day that Apple Podcast picks up this little podcast, a friend in my, uh, of mine named Stephanie Amos, Off Grid Oily Mama to you all on Instagram, she and I met through a class, a class created by Kelly Ray Roberts. It was actually her very first class that she did online. At the time, I was sequestered in Germany, and she was in Colorado. And through the connections of that class, we got to know each other. And then at one point when I lived in Colorado, I went to visit her. And we've kept this relationship going on throughout all of that. She has a, a child now, and she now lives in a, um, off the grid, and it's just been amazing. But so here's the thing. Um, she and I had a conversation in a coffee shop in Colorado 
10 years ago. And we would have these conversations. We, we, we had other conversations. But in this particular conversation, you know how you're sitting with your girlfriends and you're like, or a girlfriend, or maybe you don't even think this, but this is what we were thinking. <laughs> we were talking about creativity and creative blocks and how these ways that we would brainstorm through them. And, and we looked at each other and almost simultaneously said, this should be a podcast. Now, mind you, I know that sounds silly now because there are so many podcasts. And especially in the year of the pandemic, 2020, where everyone has a podcast. Yeah, I know that sounds like, oh, of course you said that. No, 10 years ago, it was like, how would you even do it? <laughs> but we said it. And so last week we visited it again because we were talking about these books, which this is kind of an early unveiling. And it was, again, one of those things where it was like, we should be talking about this in front of others to spark others, to have this kind of dialogue. And so on that same day with the podcast announcement, we have officially started a series of books. I will tell you more about it later, but the long and short of it is we will be connecting and it will be in video form. And if there is a way, which it probably is, we just have to research it to download it to the podcast as well. We will more than likely do it. See, the birds are singing in celebration. So anyway, friends, thank you for celebrating with me. Thank you for going along this journey with me. When I say that if I can do it, anybody can do it, I really do mean it. And I think because we think everything, oh, it, it really is, you guys, you just take one step. I'm telling you, I look in the mirror and I think, celebrated my 52nd year, you know, two weeks ago now. And I, you know, the lines are there and there are moments where it's like, it's taken so long. But I invite you to switch it around and go, it's not too late. Don't wait another 10 years. Because even in the midst of this 10 year waiting for this new series that my friend and I are gonna do, the reality is I've been building and growing and changing in other ways that can't help but really lend itself to this next piece. And we're older and wiser now. She's a mother now. I now have two kids that are out of the house, grandkids my youngest starting high school. It's just all getting good. So anyway, friends, thank you. Make sure and share any of the material or that you hear on this podcast that you think would be of service to someone else. Talk to you soon.